Karen gets some upsetting news while she's at the hospital for one of her doctor's appointments, y'all. They don't say what news she get, but they say that one of the staff members at the hospital had to calm her down. And I said, what could she be getting? What news could she be getting? Do y'all think that's the scene where afterwards she go to Zach's and Fatima place and she tells Zach that she had a DNA test done? Or do y'all think um, they were showing her, you know, how far along? I mean, if, they, if she slept with these men, <laughs> these men, around the same time, wouldn't it be still hard to tell without DNA tests? Because if both of them had slept with her. So I'm like, okay, the only way we gonna know for sure is Zach actually gives up his DNA. And that's something somebody pointed out. I just forgot about that. I forgot about that. Somebody said where she keep getting all these DNA from. <laughs> and they was like saying Zach needs to go for himself. And I said, right. I said, I wouldn't, regardless of this, y'all know this fake and everything, but this is real life. You don't trust nobody where you go do it yourself. Especially when they so sketchy. I ain't gonna say sketchy. What's the word I'm looking for when it comes to Karen, y'all? She been saying since day one that Zach is the father. Now, keep in mind that we don't know. She, I guess she would know who she slept with, but at the same time, it's Karen. We've seen her go after Zach and go after Zach and go after Zach. So, who's to say that's not what she's doing now? But yeah, she's supposed to go tell uh, Zach that she had a DNA test done. I said, look, they, they getting every storyline. Um, It's some people that have been talking and they said that it's going to be a plot twist. It's going to be a plot twist. It's going to be a third guy. Y'all know we've been talking about this. We talked about Rico. We talked about uh Zach, Aaron. But they ruled out Aaron, allegedly. Somebody also said that uh, they've never heard of, you know, somebody being uh 99.99% not the father. I said, right. I said, oh. I said, I don't know. I said, that was sketchy to me. Because Aaron went to Andy and said that someone told him then he went and said to uh, Karen, he went to say to Karen that when he seen the 99.9%, he just assumed, what? First of all, that didn't sound believable either because if you really been going hard thinking that that's your child, you mean to tell me that you gonna, you ain't going to examine that whole little paperwork, really? But then she showed him again. She was, she showed him again and he was like, oh, I just seen the 99.9%. But you said somebody told you, though. You said somebody told you. So they didn't get their story together. They writing one. But they do say, uh, you know, it's new writers for season seven. Based on the trailer, it does look interesting, y'all. But I don't know. What do y'all think? What news does Karen get that upsets her? Comment down below. Also, I forgot to mention, because I don't restart this about ten times. Um, they show a scene in season seven trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, because I know a lot of people was commenting that they haven't seen it or whatever. But now, it's all over Instagram. That's why I seen it first. It's on Instagram, it's on YouTube, it's on Facebook now. Everybody re-uploading it and everything. At first, I thought they made a mistake and released it because, you know, sometimes they do that. But, no, it's still it's still up there, so. But, yeah, they show a scene where she, this scene right here, where she's at the hospital and the doctor turns the little ultrasound thing around to her and that's when she make this face. That's when she make this face or whatever. Then they show another scene where she goes to Zach and Fatima house. But, yeah, that's it. Come y'all thoughts down below. Stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, do this. Have a great day and be safe. Hey, y'all, if you're looking for more ways to support me, you can sign up for the DLC Crew Text Club. It's a motivational group. You'll get four encouraging messages per month until the end of December, next December, 2024. It's a one-time fee of $10. The link is in the description, as well as how you can contact me if you have more questions. Until next time, deuces.